All right, hope everybody's doing well. I know it's been quite a while since I got a video done. Uh, I just thought I'd show a few things. Hopefully this video will come out okay because uh, my desktop, I am old, I still use the desktop. Had a Windows update and it went down for the count about three weeks ago and everything I used was in there. Uh, imaging program, editing, all that crap. So, not to mention, eh, whatever. It's just down for the count. This is a cross uh, of uh, to all red albino male. Not the best one, but just uh, one that I could use uh, to a, a roebuck red female. And she's very thin because she actually just had fry. Uh, which I'll show they're kind of in a dirty tank because uh, I'm moving the fry into a 10 gallon tank which I only have half full uh, so it's technically like a 5 gallon tank but uh, this female is not quite as red as most Roebuck Reds because the first cross this is a she's the first group of fry that's grown out from the initial cross I did of a Roebuck Red female to an all red albino male. So long story short, I couldn't go back to the original father because uh, he kicked the bucket. So I took uh, the uh, one of the females that grew out in the cleanest color to uh, another all red albino female, or male, sorry. So anyway, these are the fry. Let's see if I can get these on here. I know it's dirty, so I have to clean out the bottom and they're going into a 10 as I said earlier. Now somewhere if we can find them, there's about a dozen fry in here, uh, but one of them is an albino. So if you use, you know, if you go by the Punnett Square thing, there should be a bigger percentage than that. But a Punnett Square doesn't always work with guppies. Because uh, some of the babies get eaten, some of them kind of get smashed when you're trying to get them out of the tank. So, you know, there's different variables than a regular breeding group like chickens or something like that. So there's also a couple of fry in here somewhere. But, so anyway, so that's uh, that. And so that was good to get the first drop. And like I said, there's a couple of fry in the uh, tank itself here somewhere. So hopefully they won't make me a liar and I won't drop the phone in the... Uh... There's one. There's another one. So anyway, there's a couple of fry in there. So I don't think I missed them. I'm afraid that she had a couple of more after having this first drop. Uh, it'd be nice if I could find the albino, just so you can see it, but of course I can't. All right, I'll be right back with uh, some more stuff that's unrelated, and I'll be right back. All right, I'll just show a couple other things. Uh, I didn't put a background behind these fish, so you should get a, a decent look at them anyway. Uh, it's a really funky uh, gold painting that I bought years ago. I don't think they make stuff like that anymore. That was like a... 90s thing but these are uh platinum red mosaic uh dumbos uh, i'm going to select two trios of breeders out of this which will be pretty easy because they're all pretty uniform which is fantastic so i waited until they fully developed all their color and uh now i'll just take two trios out and set them up in a tank and be ready to go so what do you uh Oops, I messed it up. What do elves learn in school? The elf a bet. The elf a bet. Oh, come on, that's actually not too terrible. All right, maybe it is terrible. Nobody liked that. All right. So anyhow, that's what these things are. They really, really come out great. Real nice high dorsal. Now, like I've said in other videos, these are not. Uh, remotely an IFGA fish. They have set uh, 
parameters for fins and all kinds of stuff and these don't meet any of them but they are beautiful and that's why I have them and you know I sell them uh, I think uh, you know if you breed IFGA and you want something a little bit different to uh, keep you uh, going with guppies or to make some sales because you don't want to sell the fish the lines that you show which nobody sells them uh, you know, I highly recommend uh, Red Dragons or these Platinum Red Mosaic uh, Big Ears. Very cool fish. All right, next thing I wanted to show, uh, this tank has some particulates in it, which is a big word for uh, dirt. And this is some progress on the uh, Black Lace Cobras that I'm working on. So these are some random males. I'm uh, getting two types of males. Uh, one with uh, one type has a mostly black tail like this one and the other type has more lace pattern in the tail and I'll get a better look at one of them coming up in the next uh, group and this tank's a little hard to see I did use a black background which was really stupid let me uh, see if I can get that out of here it's a, just a random can of fit, jar of fish food there. So that's a little easier. So these don't qualify as snake skins, which is an IFGA term, because there's not enough of a snake skin pattern on the body. There's, uh, it's gotta be, I think it's 65% now. And this one uh, has a little bit of a black mark in the body. They all really have that. And, uh, yeah, they just don't qualify. So they, they really would just be Cobras. But there's some nice ones in there. And this is a breeding group I set up. So let's see if I can actually get the nicer ones on here. There we go. That's what I meant about a little less of a pattern in the tail. So that part's not uniform. But I'm, I'm mostly working with uh, keeping a dorsal long on the males which I have on these, the pattern on the body, which uh, has not improved. So I'm, I'm just happy with uh, how it's come out, especially when they stay on camera. But so anyway, that's uh, what they look like. Here's a close up of one of them. Pretty nice. I'll leave you with one more joke. I saw my friend John Madden, that's his real name, using the, uh, the ATM, uh, you know, money machine there. And he was standing on one leg. And I said, yo, John, what are you up to, buddy? Why are you standing on one leg? And he said, uh, I'm checking my balance. Oh, my goodness, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. All righty. So I'll try to have another video up a lot quicker. Uh, I have to see how the editing is going to go and getting a thumbnail and all that crap because uh, it's just it's a regular basic laptop with a decent amount of RAM and storage so I'll just slowly have to uh, build things back up uh, probably going to take my laptop or the desktop excuse me to a computer repair place and see if they can resurrect it because I got my tax records are in there too which I kind of need so, uh, basically what happened, I think it had a Windows, up, well, I know it had a Windows update. And when I woke up, uh, the computer was uh, just not functioning. So, I turned it off, turned it back on a few times, activated the disk repair, and I finally got messages that say the C drive is repaired, uh, please wait. And then it never starts up. So I just get the Windows uh, thing in the beginning, the spinning circle, and then the black screen of death. So if I was a smart person with anything except fish, I would have uh, backed up the computer, which I did not do. Uh, so I'm gonna have to bring it somewhere and see if they can uh, resurrect it or just let them keep the thing for parts. So, I'll try to get another video up very soon, and by that I don't mean a month, because I'm going to try to uh, 
give some updates on what I've been doing in the fish room, which is uh, changing some things around. I've been calling the, uh, the Roebuck Reds quite a bit. So I'm trying to uh, really get that line as nice as it was when I was attempting to show Reds. Uh, get the tail shape better, the fin, uh, dorsal fin on the male longer, and keep the color uniform. So, I'm mostly there. Uh, so I have about eight tanks devoted to them, and just not a lot of fish in each tank. A few pair for breeders and some fry growing out. So anyway, take care. Uh, I'll have another video up soon, and thanks for sticking with me.